Hey guys, Scottish Football here, back with another video. And today's video is Europa League score predictions semi finals. It's because this week, tonight and Monday, Monday, which is tomorrow, yeah, tonight and tomorrow, which is Sunday and Monday, the games are both being held at 8 o'clock and they're being held in Germany at a neutral venue. I don't know which city it is, but it's in a neutral venue in Germany. So obviously, this one's going to be quicker, quicker today because there's only two games to talk about. Talk about them. Talk about them. Might take, make the talking a little bit longer. And how, however, I am going to do Champions League score predictions, the semi semi finals tomorrow. And these semi finals are all worth tuning into. The big question is, am I going to be doing a score prediction for the fi final? Probably not, probably not, to be honest. So right, let's get into the video then. Right, the, the first semi-final, which is tonight, is Sevilla versus Manchester United. Sevilla, in 2014-15 and 16, won Europa League three times in a row. That's why they changed it. That's why if you won the Europa League, that means you're getting to the Champions League automatically because you're getting too easy and it was just going to walk over for Sevilla. So that's why they changed it. And well, Sevilla, when obviously Sevilla knocked out my team Wolves, they beat us one there in the quarterfinals. Honestly, I I I didn't expect that. On Sevilla, I expected a lot more of them. I thought they, I thought they would play a little bit better. They played all right. They probably did dominate us in chances, and they did dominate all, all game. But they didn't play as well, well as they know they can in that competition. Well, on Man United's hat, on the other hand, for Manchester United, they only got past Copenhagen one 0 That's because they didn't put all of their chances away. They couldn't that night. And they only got through with with, with a penalty when they only got through because the referee awarded them a penalty. So they needed a penalty to win the game. Because that Copenhagen keeper is fantastic. Man United should look at him to replace De Gea, and Copenhagen should do a swap deal with them. If Copenhagen were ever to do a swap deal, can I tell you this, Copenhagen? You do not want him. He was one of the world's best, there isn't he? Well, well, he probably still is down one of the world's best, but he's so overrated now, though. Just don't know what's happened to him. So, for my, my score prediction for this game is Sevilla 1 1, Manchester United 0. I don't think this will be a very good game, really. I think it'll be quite a boring game with, with one goal to decide it. Personally, I think it'll be a bit like the Sevilla Man U game, Sevilla Wolves Sevilla game, except Man United will probably create more chances because they're used to the competition. Yeah, because I don't think Sevilla are playing as well as they can at the moment, and United just need penalties to win every single game. They get so lucky, Man U. Right, on to the next game, which is the second semi final. Which is Inter Milan versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Sak versus Inter Milan versus Shakhtar Donetsk. The Italians versus the Ukrainians. Hmm. Wow. A little bit. Inter Milan. They're probably one of the favourites to win the competition. Competition along with Sevilla, Sevilla or Manchester United. Shakhtar are probably the. The underdogs out of all of the least teams and are the most unlikely unlikely team to win it, but you cannot write off Shakhtar Donetsk for this game. And Inter Milan, they've got players like the Kaku, Asi Young, Christian Eriksen. They've got lots of players that play for Premier League clubs. I think there's going to be goals in this game. I think I am going to watch this one, and I think the score will be Inter Milan. Three, Saktar Donetsk. Yeah, Inter Milan, three, Saktar Donetsk, two. 
I just think the Italians have just got that extra bit of quality other than the... I think the, Sp I think the Italians have got that extra little bit of quality compared to the Ukrainians. That's why I'm going to go for Inter Milan to get, get a 3-2 win. But honestly, the strikers you'd all watch out for for Saktar Donetsk, a player called Junior Mor Moraz. Because he's a great player, he is. Let me tell you, one player that plays in the Premier League used to play for Saktar Donetsk. Can you guess what it is? W Willian, who, who plays for Chelsea, but he doesn't play for Chelsea now. He's moved to Arsenal on a free transfer, on a free year contract. The Chelsea's are giving him a new free contract. He's not getting anything different to Arsenal compared to Chelsea. No, he's not. So, right. We're at the end of the video now. So, if you like the video, please remember to like. Please remember to like the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And also, please, also do turn your notifications on whenever you... So, you know when I when I've made a video and you can all watch it. Until then guys, I hope you will all enjoy the semi-finals of Europa League today and, and tomorrow and then on Tuesday and Wednesday for the Champions League semi-finals. Until then guys, hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.